What's mobbing with it? God bless y'all in Jesus' name, and we're going to get straight to it. John chapter 8, verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world, and whoever follows me will never walk in darkness again, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and touch on that, man. I thank God, you know, for the ability when we read scripture for the spirit to really speak to us in a manner that, you know, if we look at scripture and understand that the scripture is living, this is a living word. This is our direction, our pamphlet, our blueprint to life as believers. And we need to understand what it means to have the light. So if we speak upon light and darkness, we understand that light cancels out darkness. We understand that. We understand, and the same goes for darkness. You know what I'm saying? One can't exist with the other. So we understand by accepting Christ and him being our light, the light of life, understanding what that means. When we were in darkness, we were blind to our sin. We were blind to our evil ways. And we had no idea when it came to being able to see sin for what it truly was so we were blind to it we were walking in the dark and there was no way of seeing the warning signs before destruction so we were basically just walking in darkness and what we had going on but we, when we understand christ being the light of life is understanding once you accept christ and you have the light the light of life him being our light as he navigates our path now that light of life meaning christ christ is exposing the sin exposes the sin that was in darkness now that we can see now that we've had that veil removed from our eyes now that we can see now we're on this path now we see sin for what it is now we see the evil ways for what they are now we can truly identify what wickedness is and praise god for that because now when we're going throughout our daily lives we're able to see sin for what it is and it's being exposed praise christ for that and we need to understand what it means to follow Christ follow means to obey so even along this journey us obeying Christ is meaning to lean on his understandings his ways his attributes his thoughts all of them things because if we truly understand on who we were before Christ and anytime we've fallen short when it came to trying to do things on our own it was because we weren't following him and the essence, we have to understand what that truly means is when we begin to veer from the path, meaning we're not following Christ, meaning we thought we could do something on our own. That's when we become to where we begin to fall short. And I just wanted to touch on that real quick is understanding what what light in the Bible is referencing to light is referencing to Christ. Darkness is re referencing to sin, evil and Satan. And light is referencing to the Lord, to Christ, to God, the Father in heaven. So we have to understand what these things mean. We have to understand where we are now. And I challenge you today to truly surrender and follow Christ and understand what that means. And I, and I also want you to understand to have Christ as your light is meaning that now you truly are able to expose the sin that is in your everyday life before we were walking in dark and we have to understand what it means in a dark like if we were in a dark room see the analogy i like to give if we were in a dark room um darkness we adjust to darkness our eyesight does but doesn't mean that we can see things truly all the way clear within the darkness so there's still things that we may trip over when the lights are off um, there's still things that, you know, we may step on, whatever it may be. We cannot see what is in front of us. We cannot see, uh, you know, when it comes to certain things, um, uh, whether it be a shoe on the ground, whatever it is, you know, this is just a simple analogy, but when a light is on, we can see things clearly and we can avoid these things. So that's what we have to understand in meaning what Christ is as the light in our life is meaning that we will never walk in darkness again, meaning that now we have life. We've accepted Christ. He is the only way on to salvation. But understanding now that we have the light, we can avoid these things. We can avoid sin. 
Sin is now being exposed. We will not, we will no longer trip and fall on the things that were in front of us when it came to what we couldn't see and was blind to our sin. Now we see it. it's been exposed and we can avoid it. Hallelujah. Love y'all, man. God bless y'all. In Jesus' name, this was just something quick, real fast, man. Just quick breakdowns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my apologies for yesterday. Um, you know, I would have jumped on, but I caught like a little food poisoning bug or something. You feel me? But Lord willing, today I'm doing better. So hallelujah, man. Y'all be blessed today, man. And once again, I want to leave that with y'all, man. Today, you have a choice. There's no plan B. It's only Christ. Choose Christ. Follow Christ. He is the only way on the salvation. Submit, surrender, follow, obey. Hallelujah, man. Love y'all.